Hello, I didn't see you there while I was in the middle of blowing my nose, washing my car, and petting my dear dog, Pokey. So, as you see here, I have a bell curve on my computer, as always, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing here today. We are actually trying to see if there is a gender correlation between recognizing age in pictures. So what you're looking at here are pictures of the two exact same people, but as you see in photo one and photo two, there is a 15 year age gap. The null hypothesis, or the how, how, is that there is no correlation between men and women being able to determine if there is an age difference between photos, and our alternative hypothesis, our ha, ha, <laughs> is that there is a correlation between men and women and being able to recognize if there is an age difference in photos. So um, I want you guys to look at these two pictures. Look at these two pictures and tell me if you think that, if, like, do you think they're the same person? Like, do they look the same? Yeah. Yeah? Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. so no. Yeah. The guy's face is like it's a not a different. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. As you can see, we've interviewed 21 boys. Nine of which said yes, the two people did look alike. Twelve of which said no, they don't look alike. Then, we also interviewed 25 girls. Ten of which said that the two people did look alike. And 15 of which so the people didn't look alike. So then we can add these up to get our row and our column totals. To get our expected value for the chi-squared chi test, we do our row total times our column total, all of our total, or our n. Then we can figure out that what our expected value is. We then have our observed value. We do observed minus expected squared over expected. We do this for every value, and then we add them all up, thus the summation symbol over here. If you don't want to do all the math, you can put it in a matrix in your calculator, and it'll do the math for you. Either way, you should get a chi-squared that equals 0 .0384. Since our degrees of freedom is 1, because we have 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 1, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. We look up one degree of freedom with our chi-squared value on, on the chi-squared table. We find that our p-value is 0.8446. Our p-value is so large that we fail to reject the hoe. Oh my goodness, we forgot one step. Listing our conditions. Alright, so, yeah, I guess it's pretty normal. Um, SRS? No, we did not go up to... We only went up to people we wanted, and is it independent? Yeah, right, people sway each other all the time, so this test is totally bogus. Come on, folks, let's go play. I saw Igor okay, so, Miss Nelson. Really? I stopped Igor off Facebook, Miss Nelson. <laughs>